Hi, I'm Grant Wilson, Surgical Technology Program Director at Calhoun Community College. Hi, my name is Carla Crate. I'm your Surgical Technology Instructor at Calhoun Community College. Performance of basic skills are important for anyone that is working in a surgical scrub role. Today we're going to have some of our students help us by demonstrating proper surgical gown and glove and also proper removal of a surgical gown and glove. In this video, our student will be de demonstrating closed glove technique. Proper performance of closed gloving is an important foundational skill for anyone working in a surgical scrub row. When working in the first scrub row, your gown and glove should be open on a separate flat surface, such as a mayo stand. The gown and gloves should never be opened on the sterile back table, regardless if you have performed a water-based scrub or a waterless scrub. This prevents water inadvertently dripping from your arms and hands onto the back table, and it prevents violating the principle of asepsis that a non-sterile person should not reach over a sterile field. Note the boundary of the sterile field is one inch when on top of the table and at table level when extending below table level. After completing a surgical hand scrub, enter the room. Maintain good arm angle to prevent cross-contamination of the scrubbed areas of your arms. Hands are held up and away from your face. Elbows are down and away from your body. The forearm should not touch your scrub shirt. Carefully pick up the towel without dripping water onto the gown, gloves, or wrapper. Open the towel and use one end to dry one hand and arm to the elbow. Push your hand up and through. Limit movement of the towel and do not go back up the arm as you dry. Lean forward to make sure the towel does not touch your shirt. Switch the towel to the other hand by bringing the wet hand under the dry side of the towel. Drop the wet end of the towel while lifting the dry end. The second hand and arm is then dried in the same fashion as the first, starting at the hand and working to the elbow. Do not go back up and do not allow the towel to touch your scrubbed shirt. The towel is then handed to the circulator for disposal. Carefully grasp the gown without touching the gloves or the gown wrapper. Grasp the gown by the folded side when possible. However, remember to avoid touching the gown wrapper or reaching where you cannot see. Pick the gown up and orient it with the fold, the inside of the gown, towards you and the collar seam at the top. Slide your hands towards the opening of the sleeves and don the gown. Be cautious not to touch any non-sterile areas with the sleeves. Do not bring the sleeves close to your face and do not allow your hands to be exposed through the stockinette cuff. Once the hands go through the stockinette cuff, it is considered non-sterile. The circulator will assist you by securing the back of your gown. Approach the mayo while maintaining 12 inches between the mayo and the front of the gown. Also be cautious not to allow your gown sleeves to touch any non-sterile edges of the mayo stand. Remove one of the gloves from the glove wrapper. You may glove either the right or the left hand first. Place the glove on your forearm with the thumb side down next to your thumb. The fingertips of the glove should be pointing towards your antecubital. The glove is brought up and over the hand while the hand is pushed through the stockinette cuff and into the glove. Maintain coverage of the stockinette cuff while donning the sterile glove. You may pull the glove, gown, sleeve, and glove, or gown sleeve only. Your thumb and fingers should be through the stockinette cuff and in the glove. The edge of the cuff should go across the palm of the hand and the entire cuff be well covered by the glove. By leaving the cuff partially on the palm of the hand, it will be less likely to slide out from under the glove during a procedure. The second hand is gloved in the same manner as the first. 
The second hand is typically easier as you have the fingers of the other hand already gloved. Adjust the fingers of the glove so that the fingertips of the glove are not loose. This will increase your tactile sense and will also reduce the risk of snagging the glove. The circulator will help you turn the back of your gown. Remove and retain the short string in your left hand. Maintain your body facing the sterile field and turn to your right and hand the card, which is still attached to the long string, to the circulator. Make sure your hand is near the bottom of the card and that you do not touch the circulator when handing off the card. The circulator will then use the card to bring the string around to your left side. Turn to your left and grasp the string near to, but not touching, the card. Grasp the string well as the circulator will pull the card away from the string quickly. You may then tie the two strings. It is best to tie the string short to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. Note that although you turn the wrap around back on a sterile gown, the back is not considered sterile as you cannot monitor that area of the gown. Once gowned and gloved and until needed to perform a task, you should maintain your hands in front of the gown between waist or table level and mid chest. The front of the gown from waist or table level to mid chest and the sleeves of the gown up to two inches above the elbow are considered sterile. Other areas including the back of the gown and the axillary regions are never considered sterile. At the end of a procedure, caution must be used to remove your gown and gloves so that you do not touch any of the areas of the gown or gloves that are contaminated with blood or body fluids. To remove the gown, start by breaking the wraparound string. The circulator may undo the back of the gown for you or it may be necessary for you to break the strings in the back of the gown when pulling the gown away from you. Do not reach behind yourself to undo the strings as your gloves are contaminated with blood and body fluids and you do not want to cross-contaminate your scrub attire. Once the strings are broken or undone, cross your arms and grasp the gown near the shoulders. Keep your hands away from your face and neck as your gloves have been exposed to blood and body fluid. Pull the gown away from yourself. The sleeves will turn inside out as you pull the gown away so that the contaminated portions of the gown do not touch your skin. Properly dispose of the contaminated gown. You will then remove the gloves. The first glove is removed by hooking a finger of one gloved hand under the rolled up cuff of the second gloved hand. Note that you should touch glove to glove. The second glove should be removed by hooking a finger of the ungloved hand under the skin side of the glove on the other hand. Note, you should touch skin to skin when removing the second glove. Properly dispose of the gloves and wash your hands with an approved antimicrobial soap.